Hello everyone and welcome to my channel this is the 26th part of what if Deku was a magical girl mascot, quirk, magical girl mascot, the author of this great fan if I see is Emma Ivoli links to them and original story in the description. Chapter 26, Back to School The rest of the week was pretty hectic for the ones who still had the internships. And Izuku was not having a good time for the remainder of his internship. He knew Endeavor didn't like him and was only using him as a way for Shoto to perfect her fire. But he was reaching a breaking point. He knew he couldn't keep this up much longer. He was breathing heavily and covered in bruises. Shoto noticed the look on his face. I think I need a break. Said Izuku. How are you supposed to be a hero if you take breaks? Asked Endeavor. All Might doesn't fight 24 hours a day. Even he needs to rest. Said Izuku. Endeavor scowled at Izuku. Also it's not my only quirk. I have five others. One I really need to train. Said Izuku, and I prefer to figure out ways to combine them. What does that mean? Asked Endeavor. You saw how I fought in the festival. Said Izuku. Fine then, show me how you combine your copied quirks. Said Endeavor. Will you give me a break afterwards? Asked Izuku. Endeavor just blared at him. But Izuku really couldn't read it. Izuku knew he had to start his attacks. He did however start with Shoto's quirk by creating a lot of ice. I thought you were going to use Shoto's quirk. Muttered Endeavor. Izuku didn't answer as he blew apart the ice with Katsuki's quirk. Before Endeavor could react to it however Izuku pulled one of his feet from under him causing him to fall. Izuku used this distraction to switch to Achiko's quirk. He lifted, lifted the ice chunks into the air before released them and causing them to fall. However Endeavor just melted them. Izuku looked at Endeavor who gritted his teeth. You better have figure out another way to use Shoto's quirk in another combination. Muttered Endeavor. I need to practice it. Said Izuku, but it will be the fireside. Endeavor only nodded. Take your break. Muttered Endeavor. Izuku sighed. He looked at Shoto as it clear she wasn't going to get a break. Don't worry. Thought Shoto as Izuku had his telepathy on. I'm used to it. Izuku sighed and nodded as he took his break. Meanwhile, in a cove somewhere, Suyu and the magnificent mermaids looked at a tied up violing who was dressed up in elaborate ghost costume. It's him, isn't it? asked Si Kao. Let's just, maybe someone knew this time. groaned Arista. I doubt it, said Madison. They unmasked the villain. It's you again. Growled out Arista. Yes. It's me. Said the villain. We have been through many times. Yelled Madison, there is no pirate gold in the cove. But I heard. Said the villain. No, just stop. Muttered Arista. Does this happen often? Asked Suyu. Just once every few months. Said Shirahoshi. I see. Said Suyu with a sweat drop. Meanwhile with Katsuki and Mirko they were on patrol. So wait, patrol is also about reassuring people? Asked Katsuki. Yeah. Said Mirko, as much as I want to kick ass, it's rare when someone commits a crime. Also to act a deterrent. You have got to be kidding me. Muttered Katsuki. Hey. I get you. I want to kick as much ass as you do. Said Mirko. Dang it's Mirko. Yelled someone. Oh man. I want her to my head between her legs so much. Yelled someone else. What? Yelled Katsuki. Did I say that out loud? Yelled the person. Yes you did. Yelled Mirko. I'm just going to run now. Yelled the guy who yelled this out. Yeah you better run. Yelled Katsuki. You better get used to weirdos too. Said Mirko. 
I know. Muttered Katsuki, but there's one guy in my class. Does he still do things after you threaten him? Asked Mirko. Katsuki didn't answer. Then teach him not to do stuff like that. Said Mirko. Already working on it. Said Katsuki with a smirk. Achiko on the other hand was working on new moves. She had really taken to the martial arts taught to her. But of course soon enough it was time to leave. Both of you better get stronger. Muttered Endeavor, and whatever you're planning with Shoto's fire better be worthwhile. Izuku nodded. And soon enough the two left. I'm so glad it's over. Sighed Izuku. It could have been worse, trust me on it. Said Shoto. Yeah. Sighed Izuku. And soon after that it was the first day of school back. Everyone was excitingly talking about how their internships went. Oh man. You really helped in a hostage situation? Asked Kaminari to Jiro. Yeah but it was only getting them out of there. Said Jiro. Outside the classroom, Tenya took a breath. She wasn't sure how everyone was going to react. She then opened the door and almost everyone was staring at her. The ones that weren't were Achiko and Suyu who knew who she was. Do you have the wrong classroom? Asked Yayorozu. No, but I understand why you wouldn't recognize me. Said Tenya. It should be noted that Tenya had a bizarre almost robotic way of moving. The class noticing the necklace along with this factor they realized who she was. No way. Yelled Kaminari. Midoriya bonded with you? Asked Sato. Tenya nodded. All right. We got another hot girl in class. Sheared Mineta, and one with such fine legs. That was when Katsuki appeared behind him and grabbed him the hair. Who wants to play punt the pervert? Asked Katsuki. Katsuki. I understand you coming to my defense, but. Said Tenya. Katsuki stared at Tenya as she dropped Mineta and started to giggle, giggle. Really? She asked, pigtails? It was indeed true that the new hairstyle was braided pigtails. My mother thought they would look cute on me. Said Tenya blushing. I'd be surprised if you keep before summer vacation. Sorted Katsuki. That was when Izuku and Shoto entered the classroom. The class immediately jumped at them. No way. Yelled Kaminari. We heard about you too did. Said Kirishima, you two took down the hero killer, pretty manly. Well. Said Izuku blushing. Also are you trying to grow your harem? Asked Mina teasingly. What? Asked Izuku. Come on. You got Ida to bond with you. And the new her is pretty cute. Said Mina. It's not like that all. Said Izuku. He's right. Sighed Tenya, the reason why I bonded is not something that can never be taken lightly. What does that mean? Asked Hagakure. Tenya sighed and knew she had to explain what happened. The class was horrified hearing the official story that she was gravely injured trying to fight Stain and after he was beaten they discovered that there wasn't any time to save Tenya before the ambulance came. I'm sorry. Said Mina, I didn't mean it that way. It's fine, you didn't hear. Said Tenya. I was thinking how cool the hero killer was. Said Kaminari. What? Asked Shoto blaring at Kaminari. I don't mean it that way. Said Kaminari, I mean did anyone else see the video? What video? Asked Ojiro. It turned out that the video of Stain's rant was posted online and is well providing information about Stain's backstory. That video did become popular. Leg Day nearly died because of that bastard and you thought he was cool? Asked Katsuki. I didn't mean it like that. Yelled Kaminari, I didn't know that Ida almost died until now. Mineta grabbed Izuku by the arm using this as a distraction. You have to, to bond with another guy in class. 
said Mineta. What? asked Izuku. Then it would be even between guys and girls. Said Mineta, it would be perfect. Izuku didn't say anything. However it turned out that Mineta wasn't being subtle. Really now? Asked Katsuki, I guess that means you're volunteering. What? Asked Mineta. I mean if you want things to be even that means you'll want to be the one. Said Katsuki. But I don't want to. Said Mineta. Too bad you already volunteered. Said Katsuki. Don't I get a say in this? Asked Izuku. No one's bonding with Midoriya unless he wants to or he has to. Said Aizawa as he opened the door with his quirks active. The class all got into his seats. Aizawa sighed as he looked at the class. I have gotten reports on everything done during your internships. Sighed Aizawa, I expect few of you to not get a big head. It was clear he was referring to Azuku and Shoto. He talked a few other things. During lunch. So you have to wear a skirt too. Said Achiko to Tenya. Not quite. Said Tenya. She moved what appeared to be her skirt to reveal it wasn't a skirt. Oh you're wearing a skirt. Said Achiko. Are you wearing one too? Asked Tsuyu to Shoto. I am. She said. So that's how they're skirting the law. Said Kaminari butting into the conversation. They all stared at him. I'd like to point out Aizawa said it first. Said Kaminari with a sweat drop. Still doesn't make it any less dumb. Muttered Katsuki. What none of them noticed that Hagakure was looking at the group. Though it was kind of hard to tell with her being invisible. Later that afternoon it was time for hero class. All right. Today's lesson will be a chance to rescue the hostage. Said All Might. So will this be like rescue training? Asked Yayorozu. No it will be something a bit different. A race. Said All Might, you will be competing in groups of give and whoever reaches the hostage first will be the winner. The competition was being held in a training ground that looked like an oil refinery so that the race would be rather interesting. As it turned out the first group contained Izuku, Tenya, Ashido, Siro, and Ojiro. No hard feelings to whoever wins. Said Tenya. Of course. Said Izuku. Unfortunately neither knew the pain they would be in thanks to the fact neither trained a certain quirk during that week. Each person had started in a different spot. Meanwhile the others were watching at screen. Hopefully Deku and Leg Day won't do anything stupid. Sighed Katsuki. I agree. Sighed Shoto. What do you mean by that? Asked Achiko. Endeavor Barley let Izuku train his other quirks. Explained Shoto. And we all know that Leg Day was forced to take the rest of the week off so I don't he got any training. Said Katsuki. I'm sure they'll be fine. Said Tsuyu. Well if Deck is smart and doesn't try to use Leg Day's quirk. Said Katsuki. And soon enough the race got started. Izuku had a good start. He decided to do a super jump, when he landed however that was where the problems arose. Maybe I should try it. He thought. When he landed he switched to Tenya's quirk. This unsurprisingly turned out to be a bad idea as thanks to the force of the engine he tripped rather awkwardly and fell off the pipe he landed. As it turned out Tenya was also having a hard time, it wasn't until she decided to push her new top speed that there were problems. Due to some slipperiness of the pipes she also wiped out. With those watching almost everyone's sweat dropped. Of fucking course. Muttered Katsuki face palming. Please tell me that they have some place to train. Said Tsuyu. Auntie already scheduled a place for the two to train. Sighed Katsuki. That's good. Sighed Achiko. As it tur turned out Siro won and got a sash that read Hero on it. Now you did an excellent job young Siro. Said All Might, though I do believe I do have some words for young Midoriya and young Ida. 
Don't use moves you don't know if you can handle yet. Said Izuku who was in animal form looking down in embarrassment. I shouldn't have pushed my new stop speed. Said Tenya. Glad you realized it. Sighed all might. Both of them nodded and sighed. The rest of the races didn't have bad wipeouts. But it rather some stuff going on in the locker room. Hey man you okay that that wipeout? Asked Kirishima. Just some hurt pride. Sighed Izuku, I really shouldn't have used Tenya's quirk. If you just stuck to those jumps you probably would have beaten me. Said Siro. I know. Sighed Izuku. Hey. Look. Someone shawshanked a hole to the girls' locker room. Said Mineta. What really? Asked Kaminari. Most of the guys looked around. Like they were expecting something. There feels like we're missing some. Said Kaminari. Eat is now a girl. Said Ojiro. Oh so that's what we were missing. Said Kaminari. Mineta, I don't think you should do that. Said Izuko knowing he would have to be the voice of reason. Mineta didn't care he was listing off the various things about the girls he wanted to see as he approached the hole. As it turned out Mineta's was jabbed by one of the Jiro's jacks right in the eye. My eye. My eye. He screamed. Right outside the locker rooms, the five magical girls waited for everyone else. They really didn't need to use the locker rooms unless they had to wear their gym uniform. What was that? Asked Shoto. Sounds like the grapist did something stupid. Muttered Katsuki. After school, they were using the school's racetrack for training, which was the best place for the two of them to train. It's probably better if you're the first one to go. Said Tenya. Yeah. Sighed Izuku. As his wipeout was from using the quirk altogether. Okay. Said Izuku. Tenya began to give Izuku tips on how to use the quirk properly. It took a few tries to not trip up after a few steps. But it's still difficult to use. It's understandable. Said Tenya, it did take me a while to not trip. Yeah, it makes sense that it will take a while. Sighed Izuku. So don't use until you know you use it the right way. Said Katsuki who was watching alone with Suyu and Achiko. I know. Sighed Izuku. So are you going to be training your top speed? Asked Achiko. Actually, I know how to use Recipro Burst quite well. I just got too cocky and used it in an inappropriate location. Said Tenya, however I should see how far the new Recipro Burst fares. But I would like to see what my wand does as first. She transformed into her magical girl form. She lifted her hands to her hand to where the gem was. That was when a wand appeared in her hand, it had a sky blue handle, with a silver ring at the top with some sort of emblem in it. Honestly I don't know what it might be able to do. Said Tenya. Tenya looked at Suyu, who knew why she was being looked at. My wand can use an aspect of my quirk that's in a way part of my quirk, but our quirk are so different. Sighed Suyu. There could be many things it can be used for. Said Izuku. Then he began one of the mutter sprees, if it acted like an extra engine it would be a different shape for sure so it can't be that. I don't think it could spew out exhausts, then again in a sense Tenya's quirk does have to do with speed. So maybe. So you got an idea? Asked Katsuki. I do. Said Izuku, I think your wand might control speed itself. Are you sure? Asked Tenya. It won't hurt to try. Said Izuku, I mean that's why we're training. I'll be the guinea pig. Muttered Katsuki. Are you sure? Asked Izuku. You want to trip up again? Asked Katsuki. Good point. Said Izuku. And so, so the test began. Katsuki transformed and blasted herself towards Tenya. Tenya pointed her wand as Katsuki. She had a feeling on what to do and used that feeling. 
Katsuki's eyes winded as she started to slow down. Tenya was surprised by this. Especially since she was slowing down and not speeding up. Amazing. Said Tenya. She let go of the move and Katsuki crashed once the speed returned. I'm surprised that he slowed her down. Said Tsuyu. I think it's because that the better options. Said Tenya. Says you. Yelled Katsuki getting up. Hey. Speeding it up? Asked Achiko. I don't think it's a good idea to test that on any of you. Said Tenya. I have an idea. Said Shoto. She created a baseball-sized ball of ice. Just don't throw it at anyone. Said Tenya. Shoto nodded. She threw the ball and Tenya sped up the ball but it pretty much vanished before hit its target shattering both it and part of the ground. I don't think I'm going to speeding any up any time soon. Admitted Tenya. But slowing them down can be very useful. Sid Achiko. You're right. Said Tenya. That was when Inko showed up. Are you done with work? Asked Izuku. There wasn't much to do today. Said Inko, are you okay? Just some tripping up. Said Izuku. But leg day's going to try something new. Oh good luck. Said Inko. Hopefully you won't have a wipeout. Said Achiko. Tenya blushed. She got ready and called out Repro Burst. She sped away very quickly, however what just happened next left almost everyone else gaping. As it turned out the new top speed had thrust, a lot of thrust. And without even trying Tenya was airborne. Did Tenya just take off like an airplane? Asked Achiko. He did. Said Shoto. In the air Tenya was surprised but quickly realized why she had taken to the air. It would make sense it would give me enough thrust to go airborne. Thought Tenya. That was when her engines started to overheat. Oh no. Said Tenya. And she began to lose altitude. Of course. Said Katsuki. Thankfully Achiko transformed and used her wand on Tenya to stop her from crashing. I think that's enough for today. Said Inko with a sweat drop, are all of you coming over for dinner? Like you need to ask. Muttered Katsuki. The two of them had a lot to deal with the powers. Thankfully Izuku would come up with some ideas how to use Tenya's quirk. But for the time being both Recipro burst for Tenya and engine itself for Izuku had to be trained to avoid these problems. That will be it for this part. I hope everyone enjoyed if you did please leave a like and comment if you want part 27. If you want to hear more from me subscribe I hope to see you all in the next one.